welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, episode 40. So, let's head over to our next event. But of course, before I do that, I'm going to uh, head over to West City for our next event, because our next event is the World Open Car Cup, aka the Convertible Car World Cup if you are playing the NTSC version. And so this is the car I'm going to use, an Alfa Romeo GTB. And the main reason I decided I was going to use this car as well, because obviously, well, I dare to be different. Also because, furthermore, this is actually the first time I'm going to drive an Italian car in this game. So, and also, I've got this blue because, well, it's like a sort of bluey, purple, you know, fucking shit like that. And well, uh, I'm gonna put on some additional engine power because I have a feeling I may need it. At least for race one. Just to put myself on par, of course, with this AI. And since I know this thing is probably also turbo, I'm not going to get myself the stage 1 turbo kit. So what I am going to do is get myself the stage 2 turbo kit. Because that could be useful. And I don't think I can buy an it cooler. I've got the turbo at least, and well, <coughs> just gonna get myself the racing muffler as well, and uh, yeah, I think that should do it. And well, yeah, I think that should do it. I kind of thought about maybe seeing if I could purchase some tyres, but then, again, I don't think actually going to be needing tyres for these events. So we are into the race event and so this is our next event, the World Open Car Cup, also known as the Convertible Car World Cup if you are playing the NTSC version. So three races here, as of which we've got Tahiti Road, Grindelwald and Trial Mountain to officially cap off this championship. And so we are going to head over to race one in my GTV. So the main reason I chose the GTV is well because I haven't driven any Italian cars yet and also at the same time I also haven't driven any German cars either at the present time but I will definitely do that eventually. But yeah. And just before I forget, I shall need to do that. But anyways, let's head to race one. And looks like we've got a relatively reasonable competition here. And we also have a hundred beat in this event. Which is cool. And I'm already starting to make my moves. As I'm now passing the CRX. And I'm now up onto Dark Podium. And that, of course, is a Lotus Alarm. I think that's a Lotus Elise at the front, and indeed it is. And at the moment I'm trying to see if I can get myself in the slipstream. And at the moment I'm currently not. 
okay, I was not expecting myself to do that, but somehow I still did. Don't ask how, but... It was probably... an unnecessary move, but... Again, compared of course to how these AI are just constantly die from me through the corners, whenever they see a shot, they just fucking go for it, so... Yeah. So for me, I would say that's probably fair play, but anyways. Oh, and it looks like we've got the beat up onto the podium for the moment. And shifting down into the third, but obviously not breaking before entering this corner. So everything at the moment is currently going the way I'm wanting it to be. And so the Elise is still in second at the moment and I think the Alina is also up in the pack as well. Final sequence of corners and very much defending my position from the Elise as we now have the Alan up into second very briefly. But he was there, he was there. And as for me at least, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one for the victory by less than a second. And uh, there we go. I win race one. Driving my Alfa Romeo GTV. So in second, it was eventually the Lotus Elise. Then it was the Lotus Elan. Third, followed by the MX-5. Then it was the Honda CRX Del Sol in fifth, and the Honda Beat was in last. So two Lotuses, two Hondas. One Mazda and one Alpha. Basically on that grid. And that was race one. Now we can move on to race two where I can officially put on my performance upgrades. One down. Two to go. As we shall now head to Grindelwald. And because I have a feeling these AI will obviously have more power than me, obviously, I'm gonna do this. Let's head to race number two at Grindelwald. And hopefully I should not have too much trouble, even though I probably will, but we'll wait and see. And we do have a copperhead in this event, we also have an alarm in this event as well. With an RX-7 Cabriolet I think that is. And also, I should probably mention this isn't my first attempt of uh, recording this because, well, on my first attempt I did this, my video was basically shit. So, uh, yeah. That's all I can say. But yeah. This is the official segment of... ahead of the S2K and at the moment it is currently the Plymouth that is leading us by seven tenths of a second but if I am fortunate then I probably should be able to put myself 
taking the lead of this race and on the inside at the hairpin and indeed I do. The Alfa Romeo GTB leads at Grindelwald after less than a lap. Also after being better in the final section than his AI. Further back, we have the Copperhead, who is still stuck behind the S2K. And that's a wall. Dicks. Oh, there's a wall. It's alright, it's fine. It's alright, it's fine. I'm back under control. The copperhead now moves up in two seconds. And he's trying. Oh, and there goes the S2K on the inside. There's now a backup into second position. And as for the Plymouth, in spite of him pretty much leading most of the first lap, he's really fallen back. But anyways, I win race two for Alfa Romeo. So, two races down, one to go. Obviously, I'm not going to use the Alpha. Okay, so we had a Honda S2000 in this event for the second, followed by the Dodge Copperhead in third, very much like mine. A Plymouth PT Spider was also in this event, eventually finishing just under two seconds behind. Then it was the Mazda Savannah RX7 Cabriolet in fifth, and at the back. So, two races down, one to go. And for this one, I'm going to take a replay. So, As for race 3, I am not going to use the Alpha, because for that, I have already got a plan on what car I'm going to use next. So, I'm going to head back to my garage, and just use this, my copper hat. And so, even though it may look like I'm at a power deficit, essentially overall, I would imagine it's not going to be too much of a problem, and I think overall there's only really one thing I need to do here, and that's just to give myself the creepy boys, which is obviously these racing softs, because, well, Grip is super OP in this game, and I should probably use them. Actually no, I'm not going to do that. I thought about it, but I eventually decided that it just wasn't going to risk it. And well, just in case, I'll put on the or purchase myself the stage 2 engine upgrade just in case, but I don't think I'll really need it, to be completely honest. So we're just gonna head back to these events and head over to race number 3. 
So even though it may look like I am at a huge power disadvantage, the truth is with me is that, well, I do have the Grippy Boys installed on this car, which is basically all I really need, and well, I've also got a Stage 2 engine upgrade just in case, but I think for this race I'll be okay. Because, well, my car should be able to win this with my racing softs, which is basically what the strategy is. So, uh, yeah. Let's do this. So we have a Shelby Series 1 in this event. We also have a Shelby Cobra in this event, along with what I think is an Elise and I may be able to catch up to them and indeed I do and oh, okay, correction, that is a TBR but whether it's the Cerbera or the Chimera I couldn't tell you we also have a Shelby Cobra in this event as well along with a Griffith 500 and another Shelby Series 1, and that is, I think, a Viper up there, up at the front. I think that's the Viper RT-10, from what I can tell back here. And indeed it is a Viper RT-10, and oh fuck. Alright, we're fine. I've got the thing back under control. I'm back in control here at Tri Mountain. With this shit. And. Oh! Oh shit. Alright, we're fine. And. That is the maximum speed I can turn in third. Leading lap one, and these AI are just literally airborne off that curb. Or at least it looks like they were airborne from one side. So, everything going relatively well at the moment here at Tri Mountain. I'm hoping I won't do what I did last time, which is basically spin right at the final corner. And then suddenly see myself spinning again afterwards. Which is basically what I did on my original attempt at recording this, and well... For some reason, my brain just doesn't feel like explaining what it means, but anyways. Down the hill we go into the chicane. And it is a clean sweep. was a chimera that was in this race as I won by nearly two seconds over that. Then it was the Viper in third, the Griffith eventually finished in fourth, then it was the Shelby Series 1 in fifth, and at the back we had the Shelby Cobra. So two TBRs, two Dodgers, and two Shelbys. Whilst it was Sh oh. <coughs> whilst it was Shelby we pretty much rounded out the finish. So, it is a clean sweep in the Convertible Car World Cup, and an additional 15 grand, which is cool. And since this is the final race, obviously I'm going to save it. So 
So yeah, there we go. It is a clean sweep. In the convertible car world cup. Just for confirmation purposes. Okay, good. So, the World Open Car Cup is now complete. As we now have only one event left on page two, and we also have one event left on page three, which is precisely what I shall be doing next. So, let's head over here to check out our three new prize cars. So from race one, we win a Mazda MX-5 A-Spec, which is uh, pretty nice looking in my honest opinion. Actually, it doesn't look bad in red, in my honest opinion. From race 2, we win a Toyota MRS show version, which is uh, essentially a concept car of what is basically the MR2 from race number 2. And from race 3, we win the Dodge concept car LM Edition. And this thing has a wank. That's basically the only thing they really changed was the LM edition. They basically just put on a wang and besides that they also just put on some different rims. But yeah, this car is virtually the same from the normal one. Virtually the same as the normal one basically, but anyways. So yeah, that's cool. Also, the thing actually looks good in silver, but anyways. So my win ratio is continuing to climb back up again as I'm now just under 79.5% average. And in terms of completion, we are now up to 44.74%. So next up is the Grand Touring Car Trophy. And so with that, stay tuned for more GT2.